Okay, this is uh, MXUX. I just wanted to go over some information on the uh, Tesla stock price. This is some of the stuff I do, and that's why I make these videos, because it forces me to do these reviews for my own use. Anyway, I ran a Arima forecast, ran through a series of forecasts, statistical time series forecasts, and this Arima forecast came out to be the best. Um, don't know if I'm repeating myself on this, but basically what this Arima forecast, it gives you a confidence level on the price. It's a 10 day or a 10 period forecast. This puts you on the final forecast day is July 23rd, which I believe is the day before the <clears throat> earnings report for Q2 24 on the you can read you can blow this up and read it yourself but on the low end uh, and again this gives you a range of outcomes uh, on the low end we're looking at 240.6 as the low stock price adjusted closing price on that day and we're looking at 284.1 as the high closing price on that day adjusted you can go through these uh, figures yourself uh, I think uh, if you look the um, the upper range is very positive here I think it has more weight than the lower range um, those are your forecast 240 and remind well, remember that 240 number and uh, 284.1 284.1 on the high side and again a very good technically good I believe uh, forecast Arima forecast time series forecast based on um, I believe the last year or two of uh, stock closing prices this is the stock TA artificial intelligence uh, device I use to do all this charting We've got Tesla here. This is July 9. $10 change, 251 open, 265 close, 250 volume 137. So, overall, and this goes through just about every technical indicator there is. Bullish 340, bullish 25, intermediate bullish 50, long 26. So, we got an intermediate bullish there now we got here we got the chart which is off the scale the volumes all green uh, looks like we have support at 169 and then 162 and then 187 so 179 is the support number right here 12 that's the confidence level 12 179 so we got 179 is our <clears throat> support we got no resistance <laughs> no resistance so uh, again these are all the chart indicators full bullish we got a very very bearish early macd and i think there's going to be a little sell-off uh long term the highs are bearish long term everything else is either neutral or or, or green um we've got a gap up from 231 to 234 and then we got a gap from 213 to 218 and then 147 so they say they like to fill gaps so we could go back down to well we've got 231 here and that's not even on our chart here as far as resistance so we've got a pretty bullish uh take here uh, this is the EMA the EMA is all green okay 
so this is positive the um, exponential or moving average this is a smoothing um, device and you can see here we are all green and let's go to the MACD MACD we have a top bearish divergence you can pause this and read this um, analyze the MACD for divergence fast line trending opposite of price crossovers including those as the uh, of the center line top bearish here it is right here um, I think this is indicating a short-term pullback the RSI uh, relative strength and we have RSI overbought buried so <clears throat> not sure what that means but again we've got a green sign there so that means I don't know you can look that up uh, three-day displaced moving average and it's 243 usually used as a trailing tight stops those trading above the TDD are bullish and those below are bearish so we are above that's your stop I am gonna write that down your stop is 243.06 Oh, I don't know how that jiggers with our resistance numbers. These are the fibs. Um, we got one red fib here. You can read this. Um, these are kind of kind of neutralish. They're bit bullish, but not all the way. Uh, retracements seeking exceeding sixty one percent indicate a reversal so we're at 47 and 58 percent here in the short term very close to the reversal um, and uh, 61.8 is right here uh, we got a reversal here too so I think we're in for a pullback there here's the highs um, and I'm not going to go through this I think the stop is taking off here's the low analysis you can take a look at this it's not broken for the last three sessions whatever three indicators so I think we're all right there the trend R square is greater than 0.8 okay so the R square is short on the top short on the bottoms short on the top short on the bottoms short short so there's a channel and trend doesn't really exist according to this to determine if trend line is r squared and a channel exists here's your r square none of these r squares are greater than 0.8 so we're looking at i think a reversal and this stochastic is overbought buried so um, we've got what looks like 
all the way around a slight pullback and what did we say our stop was at 243 and what do we got here <clears throat> support is at 179 and uh, okay just to get to uh, Tesla these are the uh, after hour quotes um, the high low today was 250 to 26561 and the 52 week low is 138 139 to 299 we're at 263.48 it's up a dollar 16 after hours so the price did hold up after hours and these are as of about 330 Pacific time this is the last trade we've got 263 36 holding up uh, so that's what we got after hours. Oh, this is uh, the most recent news. Just a snippet of what's going on. This is uh, today at 10, uh, 11 a.m. Uh, Tesla Insider is saying you want to optimize full self-driving routes for himself and influencers. Elon Musk, uh, insiders claim Elon Musk had his full self-driving optimized routes that he himself takes as well as other routes taken by FSD content creators, which would explain the discrepancies in the if efficiency of the system. Um, this is from Electric. Electric has been negative i think they're they're fudsters sometimes on uh, musk and tesla certainly um but uh, this is the latest news i don't know if this will gain any traction in the general public um i could see why elon musk would want to uh, travel the same route over and over again to see how the system was improving i mean that would be my take on this and um i think I've, I've noticed that a lot of the influencers also drive the same route again to test the uh, efficiency, uh, the changes in the uh, system. So I don't know if this carries any water for me. Just thought I'd put it out there to end off this uh, video. Um, and by the way, we don't know with the internal versions of FSD are they obviously have not released the latest greatest to the influencers and so forth so this is all very shrouded in mystery much like the dojo chip I would say I was looking for an article can't find it but um, you know must keep saying we're using NVIDIA GPUs and Tesla hardware. So